Thank you, Mr. N.C. Kopivosian um, Kopisunduan. A very good afternoon. Yeah, I was told we are one hour late, so I have to kasi cepat cepat dia bilang my moderator. Yeah. <laughs> so after all the heavy uh, discussion just now on MH63, so we'll have a lighter one and celebrating cultural diversity in Sabah. Okay, so we'll be talking about uh, celebrating uh, Sabah's diversity. So, of course, I would like to give an overview of the population of Sabah, uh, which is, of course, comprises of 35 ethnic groups and 235 sub-ethnic groups. So Sabah is of course home to a diverse range of uh, ethnic groups. As I mentioned just now, it's about 35. And according to the Sabah Cultural Board research, okay, so just give you an overview of how our population have increased from 1970 to year 2020. So from 650,000 population to now 3.4 million. So this, of course, how it has grown that much until now, I think my Sabahan friends would be able to guess. Lah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that is Sabah. If you don't know where is Sabah. <laughs> Okay, so this is the diversity of uh, Sabah ethnic according to the Sabah Cultural Board. And then uh, it is home to 35 main ethnic groups, but we also have 236 sub-ethnic. Yeah, Sarawak, I think, lesser than that can. So the impact of cultural diversity is far-reaching and influences various aspects of society communities and individuals such as promotes innovation and creativity, enhance social cohesion, embracing differences, economic benefits, and preservation of tradition, and promotes critical thinking. So, of course, all of you have been to Sabah, I think. So we have the Kadazan Dusun, Murut, Chinese, Nila. All this, uh, uh, we are rich in different ethnics, 35. Mm. So overall, the cultural heritage and diversity in Sabah are integral to the state identity, social cohesion, economic development, and environmental sustainability. And by valuing and preserving this aspect, Sabah can showcase its unique heritage to the world and foster more inclusive and thriving society. So we also relate the SDG goals on culture uh, to, to our cultural diversity in Sabah. Okay. Uh, so I go now to the challenges and opportunities. So celebrating cultural diversity comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. There can be uh, misunderstanding and stereotyping, uh, cultural appropriation, language barriers, cultural hegemony, conflict, and division. But there are opportunities as well. Celebrating cultural diversity comes with learning and growth, innovation and creativity, social cohesion, cultural exchange, identity and pride, global perspective. So it's so different from the what we <laughs> were listening from since morning. Yeah. So to continue to celebrate cultural diversity, we need to continue to embrace and respect each other's culture recognize that diversity is strength that can bring unity, cultural exchanges and dialogue to foster mutual understanding 
and commit to inclusivity and equality to all cultures. Promote cultural preservation that protects and safeguard cultural diversity. And lastly, to express gratitude for the opportunities to celebrate cultural diversity towards the richness of cultural diversity in our country. So we know that cultural diversity is a collective mixture of differences and similarities that covers the whole range of human societies, according to UNESCO. Okay, so you see that small girl there. Uh, that's our future generation. So I am mother of six and a grandmother. Uh, so when I look at my children, so of course, I always wanted them to speak my mother tongue. But then we say, we teach them English dulu, Malay, baru belajar kata san. <laughs> now they blame me for not focusing teaching them kata san, my mother tongue. So in our unduk mada, we make sure that they can answer their question in mother tongue. We celebrate cultural diversity in during the kamatan. Yeah, so because everybody is <laughs> so then just now after the light went out. So imagine you are in KDC era this. So so this is how cultural diversity is celebrated during the harvest festival. So when you hear the music, you just dance. So we have to be grateful that during the British time in 1960s, the Harvest Step Festival was recognized by the government and our first official Unduk Madaw was also recognized that time. So that's why our Harvest Queen, a cultural beauty pageant, the Unduk Madaw is 64 years old. So officially, of course, we are yeah. We have, we are the longest cultural pageant in Malaysia, if not the world. So we have won the best brand laureate as well. So Harvest Festival is just one example, but because this is supported by the government, so we must continue to embrace this and be thankful that we still have this uh, celebration and never forget where we come from even though of course we are still very frustrated with our MH63 yang sampai sekarang belum lagi uh, we haven't got all what we want but on the other side we look at our people with all the ethnic groups, I think we live in harmony, we live in peace, and we still ada aramaiti. We masih lagi boleh celebrate the same with uh, Sarawak. So, okay, itu saja. <laughs> Thank you. Uh.